Hello, this is Irvin from the Aquaponics Club and I'm showing you here an airlift system that's going to be used in a, a small aquaponics system. Um, right here we're using the Bannon Glen AquaZen <laughs> uh, airlift uh, modification. Uh, it is missing still the check valve. The check valve will be right here. And we're doing this with a 12 volt uh, Chinese pump. Uh, it uses only 18 watts, so it's easy to hook up a solar panel to it. And uh, the unit, the whole configuration, it, it, it's going to average close to $100, including the pump. The pump, uh, I've seen them uh, as low as uh, the $48 on Ali, AliExpress. Um, I, I've, I can, you can get a version. Uh, this one is a Rezune. Uh, but there is a Boyu, which is exactly the same uh, configuration pump, and even it looks like the same thing. Uh, for a little bit more on Amazon, $54. And we're running this on a 15-volt laptop um, DC uh, uh, charger for, for, the, for the laptops. Um, it's uh, discarded and uh, we decided to use that so we don't have to go and buy the solar panels all at once. Um, what happens here is that the air comes from the pump and it drags water up, up this chute and uh, this, this, this will be right inside the IBC tank so it doesn't, it doesn't, you don't have to care about leaks or anything. The neat thing about the, the air, this type of uh, pump is that it doesn't get clogged very easily and um, so you you don't have to worry about filtration uh, you could use your grow bed to become the filter and uh, you do want to worry about putting some type of net so it won't pull in small fish up to your grow bed uh, it will carry the water up through here this joint right here this is one inch by the way and this is two inch over here so it's like two to one ratio for it to work correctly and right here uh, you just uh, use one of these uh, adapters and and put a, 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 a rubber bushing in between this will be right in between the grow bed and 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 this would be down to the fish tank um, this will be also your guard to keep your your gravel from uh, so you can reach and and, and work in here and this is what we call the collector. It it um, it shoots water through here, and it will just flow into your grow bed right through here. This would kind of like be like a silencer. That's uh, another thing that Glenn Martinez and Natalie uh, came up with. And uh, so this chamber right here, what it does is it collects the water and just lets it flow over here. Um, the rest is uh, the same type of stuff that you see almost everywhere is a bell siphon and uh, what we're doing differently was they're not using a bulkhead we're just using the adapter um, I don't know if I could twist this off here but basically it's uh, right um, we shrink we use heat to uh, make these two uh, uh, go in very well and um, that way we avoid a costly bulkhead and we just use a rubber uh, bushing right here um, that's about it you guys um, hope you guys like the design it, it, it does take a lot of maintenance away from cleaning filters and uh, it's very efficient it, it pumps a lot of volume of water with just very low wattage so it's very energy efficient and it's it's an easy configuration to for sustainability you just put a solar panel on it and, and a battery and uh, that's what we've been doing here and it works really good this one's going for a school tomorrow um, so thanks for watching